chapter 5, but we're going to begin by praying the guardian angel prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, and rule and guide. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we're in chapter 5 today. Adam and Eve. Okay, I'm going to have to do something about that. Got light there. Adam and Eve. Then God said, Let us make man in our image and after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the earth. Book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26. Long ago, long, long ago, God made the world. Then he made the first man and first woman. They were called Adam and Eve. God gave them a beautiful place in which to live. It was called the Guardian Garden of Eden. There were trees in the garden with good things on them to eat. Adam and Eve had everything they wanted. They were never sick or hurt, and they never had to die. All the animals were their friends, too. God gave Adam and Eve another very special gift. He gave them the gift of sharing his very own life. With God's life in their souls, Adam and Eve could know, love, and serve God, and they could live with him forever. So here we have a picture of the Garden of Eden. All right, so you can see. Okay, can you spot where Adam and Eve are? Find them? Yeah, they're way over there, Adam and Eve. And then the, other, the figure kind of the, on the far left side, that side, that's, that's supposed to be God. All right, the idea of he's with them. God is with them and talking to them. All right. God gave this gift to us too. The gift of God's, the life of God in our souls is called grace. Grace makes us able to go to heaven. It makes us children of God. Adam and Eve were our first parents because all the people of the world came from them. Right, so they, God gave them grace, the gift of life, uh, and that's what we get. We'll learn more about that. We get that. We get that in baptism. We become God's children. So Adam and Eve, the first man and first woman God created, and grace is the life of God in our souls, a share in his life. All right. So we have a human life, and then grace allows us to share in God's divine life, which we can't feel, all right? But the more we develop a relationship with God, uh, kind of in a certain sense, the more we, we can sense it. Uh, we come to experience his love more deeply. Who were the first man and woman? Adam and Eve were the first man and woman. What was the special gift God gave Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden? The special gift that God gave Adam and Eve was grace, God's life in their souls. All right, let's move on to the Bible. Okay, God cares for Jacob. Jo um, Joseph, not Jacob, Joseph. All right, we're on page 70 here. The merchants took Joseph to Egypt, a land that was far away from Egypt. Joseph's home. What would happen to him? Would he ever see his family again? The merchants told Joseph, to, sold Joseph to a powerful man named Potiphar. Joseph became Potiphar's slave. Joseph had to work hard, but God made him a good worker, and Potiphar noticed. After a while, Joseph's master put him in charge of the whole house. People had to do whatever Joseph said, just as if Potiphar had said it. He was very responsible. God blessed Potiphar because of Joseph. Things went well for his family. One day, Potiphar's wife wanted Joseph to do something bad. Joseph said no. Potiphar's wife got angry. She told lies about Joseph to get him in trouble. Potiphar believed all the lies. Joseph was thrown into jail with the king's prisoners. 
Once again, God, God took care of Joseph. God made him popular with the men in charge of the jail. After a while, they made him keeper of the other prisoners. And Joseph did a good job because God was with him. Joseph becomes a ruler. The kings of Egypt were mad. The king of Egypt was mad at his butler and baker. They were sent to jail where Joseph was. One night, the butler and baker had dreams they did not understand. God showed Joseph what the dreams meant. The butler would get to serve the king again, but the baker would be killed. Remember me when you go back to the king, Joseph said to the butler. The butler got out of jail and returned to, to serve the king, just as Joseph had said. But the butler forgot all about him. Two years went by. One night the king dreamed that some skinny cows ate some fat cows. He also dreamed that some thin grain ate up some thick grain. The king wondered, what do my dreams mean? But no one could tell him. Then the butler remembered Joseph. So Joseph was brought from jail. The king told Joseph about his dreams. Joseph said, for seven years, lots of food will grow. Then for the seventh year, then for the next seven years, no food will grow. There's going to be a lot of food, and then there's going to be no, no food. There's going to be famine. The king saw that God had made Joseph wise. He put Joseph in charge of all Egypt. Only the king had more authority. And it all happened just as Joseph said. Remember those dreams he had earlier on with his the coat that his father made? He had his dreams about kind of ruling. Wow, he's... Jose, Jacob and his family lived in Canaan. Canaan. They had no food because no rain had fallen for a long time. So Jacob sent his sons to Egypt to buy food. But Benjamin didn't go because he was the youngest. The brothers got to Egypt and went to see the ruler. They didn't know that the ruler was Joseph. But Joseph knew who were they, they were. He noticed that Benjamin was not with them. You are spies, Joseph said. No, they said, we are shepherds. Our father and youngest brother are waiting for us back home. Then go get your brother and I'll believe you, Joseph answered. So the nine, so nine of the brothers went home to get Benjamin. Jacob did not want Benjamin to leave, but ha he had no choice. Joseph really loved his brother Benjamin. He was glad to see him. He invited them all to he invited them all to dinner and gave Benjamin more than anyone else. Then he said to them, Benjamin will stay and be my slave. But he was just testing them. Judah bowed down. Please let Benjamin go, he begged. If he does not return, my father will die of sadness. Joseph cried. He could keep his secret no longer. I am your brother Joseph, he said. I am the one you sold to the merchants. But don't worry, God sent me here to save many lives. They all hugged and cried. Now go back and get our father too, Jacob said, and don't fight along the way. So Jacob and their whole family moved to Egypt, 70 people in all, and the king gave them the best land. Well, that concludes our chapter in Bible stories today. Let's close by praying the glory be. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.